Hi, I'm Meg and this is my friend Sam and we're here somewhere south of Utah Lake completely lost. It's up to Justin and the computer science department to come find us. Tell me, how are they going to find us? Uh, well, there's been three research groups from the computer science department that have come together over the last six years to develop this airplane uh, that they get up in the air and fly autonomously. Um, on this airplane, there's a, a video camera that they use to try and see things that stand out of place. And so what they'll do is we have an incident commander from the uh, Utah Search and Rescue, and, uh, and he'll direct where to search initially. Uh, once they get the airplane up in the air, then the, the software will take over the airplane and, and fly the airplane based on where we give it uh, GPS coordinates to fly to. And then we have people actually watching the video looking for things that stand out of place, things that might not look uh, normal. And then once they find it, they'll relay the GPS coordinates to the ground search crew, which will then come out and see what's at that point. While Sam and I kept hiking the hills, Justin was at home base with the CS department, trying his hand at the UAV piloting interface. So Spencer, what are we looking at here? Oh, uh, Justin, this is, uh, this is our piloting interface. It's called Farewell. Um, this is what we use to, to tell the plane where to, where to travel and to give it search patterns when you're looking for a missing person. And the intention is for average, run-of-the-mill search and rescue personnel to, uh, to be able to, to do this, to help them look for lost people. Awesome. Do you mind if I give it a try? Yes, go ahead. All right, what do I need to do here? Well, you can pick a point and just click and go, and the plane will fly there. So there it goes. And you can also do search patterns if you right click and choose one and drag it over the area. Um, the plane will fly that so you don't even have to set the waypoints. It'll set its own waypoints, and that way you can concentrate on searching video it takes a video broadcast from the plane in real time and it displays it here, mosaic together, it's enhanced and, and stitched together in a mosaic. So it really gives you a, a broad idea of uh, the entire area that you're searching. That's, that's right. So what do we need to do to find Megan Sam? First we would set a search pattern where we think they are, maybe over here. Okay. Maybe do a lawnmower way set, it's going to go back and forth over that area. And over here we can just watch the video and try to try to find them, try to pick them out of the video, and it's, it's not always easy. With the UAV up and scanning, Justin and Spencer kept a close watch for any irregularities in the desert landscape. Meanwhile, I talked with Sam about career options for CS majors. Well, there's a lot of different options. Uh, they break down into a few divisions, uh, such as those who go out and actually just program, people who go out and try and take a computer and apply it to a different type of problem, how can you use it in different ways, uh, people who actually look at existing solutions to problems and try and find uh, ways to improve those solutions. Um, so there's a lot of different areas, but then within these divisions you can actually apply them to lots of different fields, whether it's computer graphics, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Right now the projection for the United States job growth for computer scientists uh, is about between 38 to 56 percent. So it's, it's on the upswing and, and problems are continually occurring which, which need computing solutions. After a little time lost in the middle of nowhere, we finally saw the UAV flying toward us. Thanks to the computer science department and their breakthrough technology, Justin and the CS team were successfully able to find us. Our hope is that we can help search and rescue personnel to, to do their jobs, to find missing people and to potentially save lives. Hands On is a production of the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. To get your hands on more information, visit cpms.byu.edu.